Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, Women's Equality Day is coming up, discounts for the upcoming Baltimore Grand Prix, and a planned water outage to report. But first, as we reported last week, the DOD was able to reprogram some funds to cut the number of furlough days from 11 to 6 for more than 650,000 DOD civilian employees. This week, the American Federation of Government Employees Local 1923 invited Maryland Senator Ben Cardin to a town hall meeting. The theme of the meeting, to end sequestration, started with Senator Cardin thanking federal workers for all they do. Thank you for being on the front line of public service. What you do is the best in the world in providing for the national security of the people of this country, the federal workforce, what you do on cutting edge research, border protection, on helping our seniors, on, on dealing with food safety, on, on dealing with so many critical issues. Our federal workforce is right there on the front line. And what you do, you do the best in the world. So I come here on behalf of your federal delegation. I bring you greetings from Senator Barbara Mikulski. The two of us work together. We're very proud of Senator Mikulski and her new role as chair of the Senate Appropriations Committee. I can tell you how furious she is and wants to return to regular order in the appropriation process. Senator Cardin went on to emphasize the critical work performed by government employees. But the furloughs and sequestration is hurting our country. Hurting our country. John, the work that federal workers do is critically important to America. You know, we, you're keeping us safe. You're working in, on, under high pressure on the borders. You, you're doing, the federal workforce is doing incredible work. What's being done here at Fort Meade is critical to this country. He also added that federal employees have often been the target when assigning blame for government dysfunction. I am tired of the federal workforce being the scapegoat for every problem in this country. I'm tired of certain members of Congress who don't like government picking on federal workers. And I'm not going to put up with it. I'm going to stand up and say it the way it is. While the goal of meetings like this one is to end sequestration, Senator Cardin says without a budget, next year is up in the air as well. We're hurting our country. We're hurting our economy. When you get a 20% pay cut, you're not going to that restaurant. That small business owner is hurting from this. We can do better as a country. So I wanted to come by today to let you know that your federal team will not stand still and say, well, I guess there's nothing we can do. And sequestration will be here in October. We are not going to stand still. We're going to do and continue to do and stand up and say, we will not accept sequestration. We want budgets passed by Congress. We want reasonable budgets. We want this nation to maintain its competitive edge. We want good jobs for Americans. And that depends upon the Congress doing its work and getting the budget done. The Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office and the U.S. Cyber Command are hosting this year's Women's Equality Day observance. It's coming up next Thursday, August 22nd from 11.30 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. This year's guest speaker is Ms. Jill Carter, the Baltimore City District 41 representative in the Maryland State Legislature. Admission is free and open to the public. Meanwhile, IndyCar Racing is returning to Baltimore Labor Day weekend. Ahead of the race, the USO has invited Panther Racing back to Fort Meade. On Thursday, August 28th, the Panther Racing team will be at the USO Center from 11.30 to 1 o'clock. Driver Oriel Servia will be on hand to sign pictures and autographs alongside a simulator show car. The USO is also hosting lunch for the first 300 folks to show up. Once again, that's Thursday at 11.30 at the Fort Meade USO Center. As far as the race itself is concerned, there are military discounts available. The race is offering military ID card holders a 10% discount on entry, plus a free paddock pass. For the details, go to www.grandprixofbaltimore.com. And finally, a message from American Water. Next Tuesday, August 20th, contractors will be relocating a portion of the water main. As a result, water service in buildings 4703, 4704, 05, 07, and 09 can expect an interruption in water service. The work is scheduled to begin Tuesday at 9 a.m. and may last for up to four hours. For further questions, you can call American Water at 443-591-0909. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.